Hello, welcome to session two of the Responsible Ethical Management module. This week we are going to focus on the notion of responsibility for corporation, present the stakeholder theory of the firm, outline the concept of corporate accountability, and critically examine the notion of corporate citizenship. First of all, corporate social responsibility, mainly known as CSR, and in this lecture we are going to use this word, uh, as a CSR. CSR is when corporation goes beyond making money and engage in actions that result in social good beyond the interest of the corporation, which is required by the law. C CSR is a self-regulatory voluntary business model that helps a company to be socially accountable to itself, to its, its stakeholder, and to the public. By pr practicing corporate social respons responsibility, also called corporate citizenship, companies can be conscious of the kind of impact they are having on all aspects of, their, of the society, including economics, social, and environmental. Okay, why do companies have social respons responsibilities? There are different reasons to take CSR seriously for the corporations. It gives companies extra and more satisfied customers, okay? And corporation, because corporation cause social problems like pollution, deforestation, environmental damage, emissions, and some sort of exploitation, there are different actions that an organization can take for CSR. For example, makes products that are safe, does not pollute air or water, obeys the law in all aspects of the business, promote honest or ethical employee behavior, commit to safe work, workplace ethics, does not use misleading or deceptive advertising, utilize environmentally friendly packaging, protect employees against sexual harassment, recycle within the company, slows uh, no past record of, shows no part, uh, past record of the questionable activity, respond quickly to customer problems, maintain waste reduction program, provides or pay portion of a uh, medical cost, promotes energy conservation program, helps displaced workers with placement, gives money towards charitable or educational causes, utilize only biodegradable or recyclable materials, and tries continue to improve quality. So there are different things they can do, okay? Carl's CSR pyramid, it's very useful. It's a simple framework that helps argue how and why organizations should meet the social responsibility. The key feature of Carl's uh, CSR pyramids are CSR is built on the foundation of profit. Profit must come first. Then comes the needs for business to ensure it complies with all laws and regulations. Before a business consider its philanthropic options, it also needs to meet the ethical duties. Okay, conse consequently, the economic responsibility was placed as the base of pyramid because it is, it is a foundation requirement in business just as the footing of a building must be strong to support the entire building, sustained profitability must be strong to support society, other expectation of enterprise. The point here is that the infrastructure of CSR is built upon the premise of an economically sound and sustainable business. At the same time, society is conveying the message to business that it is expected to obey the law and comply with the regulations because law and regulations are society's codification of the basic ground rules upon which business is, is to operate in civil society. In addition, business is expected to operate in an ethical fashion. This means that business has the expectation and obligation that it, that it will do what is right just and fair, and to avoid or minimize harm to all the stakeholders with whom it interacts, okay? Finally, business is expected to be good corporate citizen. This is to give back and to contribute financial, uh, physical, and human resources to the communities of which it is part. In short, the pyramid is built uh, in a fashion that reflects the fundamental roles played and expected by the business in a society. Figure 1 represents the graphical depiction of Carl's Pyramid CSR. There are two types of corporate social responsibility, a traditional CSR and contemporary CSR. In a traditional CSR, a company generates its profit and creates value with, without much consideration for wider societal consideration, beyond shareholders and at times customers. 
In a traditional CSR, they will raise funds and make donation. However, it has little to do with how they function as a company. In a contemporary CSR, they view responsibility behavior as a means to generate profit while living up to society's expectations. CSR is a part of their uh, daily business. Few more CSR examples are supporting charity and philanthropy in initiative, going beyond legal requirements in adopting progressive human resource management program, not, not testing product on animals, recycling, uh, preventing pollution. There are different benefits of CSR that include responsible businesses attract more investors, reduce their risk, and address stakeholder concerns creating a better environment while making a profit. Most consumers prefer to buy product from companies that, are, that use CSR. Another important concept is the stakeholder theory. It is a fund, fundamental to satisfy stakeholders' needs. There is much to be taken into consideration as an organization while focusing to meet the stakeholders' satisfaction without you know, satisfying to some degree the needs of other stakeholders. It turned out attention to the consideration beyond direct profit maximizes. In, in other words, even when an organization seeks to serve its shareholder as a primary concern, its success in doing so is likely to be affected by other uh, stakeholders. A company's stakeholders are those groups without whose support the organization would cease to exist. These groups would include customers, employees, suppliers, political action, uh, groups, environmental groups, local communities, the media, financial institutions, governmental groups, and more. This view paints the corporate environment as an ecosystem of related groups, all of whom needs to be considered and satisfied to keep the company healthy and successful in the long term. A healthy company never loses sight of everyone involved in its success. Stakeholder theory says that if it treats the employees badly, a company will eventually fail. If it forces the, its project on a community to detrimental effects, the same would likely happen. A company can't ignore any of its stakeholders and truly succeed. Dr. Freeman said in an interview, there might be short-term profit, but as a stakeholder become dissatisfied and feel let down, the company cannot survive. Important uh, means the priority given to satisfy stakeholders' needs and interest from being involved in the matters of business and in the company itself in order, to in, in order for it to be successful. Secondly, influence and power of a stakeholder can affect the success or failure of any initiative. Corporate co co accountability is another very important concept. For a company to be socially responsible, it first needs to be accountable to itself and its shareholder. Often companies that adopt CSR program have grown their business to the point that we, where they can give back to society. Thus, CSR is primarily a strategy of a large corporation, also the more visible and successful uh, corporations. The more responsibility it has to set standards of ethical behavior for its peers, competition and industry. Corporate accountability is the performance of a pub uh, publicly traded company in non-financial areas such as social responsibility, sustainability and environment. Performance. Corporate accountability um, espouses that financial performance should not be uh, should be a company's only important goal, and that shareholders are not the only people a company must be responsible to. Stakeholders such as employees and community members also require accountability. Corporate accountability is also important for shareholders' concerns with ethical investing. Okay. The basis of this uh, practice is the concept that business should be held responsible for the impact of their actions. Governments do not have broad authority to regulate corporations uh, except when specific leg legislation has been passed. Historically, passing such legislation has required a, a cons considerate public effort to convince politicians to regulate particular pra uh, practices. Okay. Transparency is also morally important because it, it enhances an attitude of honesty, openness, and commitment to truth uh, that is implicit in thinking on CSR. Thus, it has been argued that transparency enhances the sense of accountability and responsibility. Finally, we will look, uh, we'll now focus on the corporate uh, citizenship uh, concept. A company's role in or responsibility towards society, uh, that's what it means. 
Corporate citizenship is a recognition that a business corp uh, corporation or business-like organization has social, cultural, and environmental responsibility to the community in which it seeks a license to operate, as well as economic and financial ones uh, to its stakeholders or immediate, uh, immediate stakeholders. Corporate citizenship involves an organization coming to terms with the needs for often radical internal and external changes in order to better meet, it, meet its responsibility to all of its stakeholders, direct or indirect. In order to establish and maintain sustained success for the organization, and as a result of the success to achieve long-term sustained success for the community at large, companies go through increasing stages during the process of developing corporate citizenship. Corporate citizenship involves the social responsibility of business and the extent to which they meet legal, ethical, and economic responsibility, as established by the shareholders. Corporate citizenship is growing increasingly. Important as a both individual and institutional investor begin to seek out companies that have socially responsible orientation, such as their environmental, social, and governance practices. Some benefits of corporate citizenship are improved employee relations, improved recruitment, uh, retention, morale, loyalty, improved customer relation, uh, relationships, increases customer loyalty, uh, improved business performance, positively impact on the financial uh, aspect of the business, and it increases uh, competitive advantage, enhanced marketing efforts, helps create a positive company image, Different levels and views of corporate citizenship, uh, different companies might fall into these views as they progress with corporate citizenship. For example, a small company might just be at their limited view stage. But as they grow, they might more further uh, the view about corporate citizenship. Time and experience does help organizations to uh, implement a better view of corporate citizenship. The table shows the sort of like activities and focus in the each view. The best view is the extended view. It is evident that corporate citizenship may be the result of uh, either a voluntary self-interest driven corporate initiative or for a compulsory public uh, pressure driven corporate uh, reaction. Either way, in it, it places having set out this concept of corporate citizenship and explored some of its implication in terms of accountability and transparency, we need to consider whether the concept of Corporate citizenship really represent a useful new way of framing business ethics, or at least whether it offers us anything different or better compared with the CSR, stakeholder theory, and other concepts. Corporate citizenship does seem to add something significant that helps us frame business ethics in a new way. The extended view of uh, corporate citizenship helps us to see better the political role of the corporation and clarifies the demand for corporate accountability. That is such a prominent feature of contemporary business ethics thinking. By providing us with a way of understanding business in relation to common rights or citizenship across culture, corporate citizenship in this sense also helps uh, us to better understand some of the challenges presented by the context of globalization. These rights of citizenship, which includes rights to equality, participation, and a safe and clean environment also have strong links to the goals of business ethics uh, of sustainability. Finally, although the notion of CSR has been widely adopted all over the world, the extended view of corporate citizenship provides us with a more critical perspective on the social role of business. Of course, one downside to the extended view of C uh, corporate citizenship is that it is both a new and not yet widely accepted within the mainstream discourse of business ethics. However, that, that is changing as it becomes increasingly apparent that the traditional concept of CSR and stakeholder theory may not be adequate to deal with broad changes in the roles of business, government and the civil society. So I hope you have sort of uh, got some idea about the three main uh, concepts of the CSR, stakeholder and corporate citizenship.